Hey guys, Adam from Toyota Engineering Performance. I got Matthew here. Um, we got a, is it a VP? No, VP44. Okay. Uh, Cummins head. 59. And we were watching you earlier um, with the TIG welder. Um, what are you? Uh, what were you? What were you doing to this head? I just ran a pass around the inside of that valve seat without any filler rod, and that heat pulls the valve, shrinks it down a little bit actually. And when it cools off, it'll pop right out of that head. So rather than having to machine that out, this is a very tough, very hard seat. Um, it'll pop right out, and Michael here will be able to put in a whole new set of seats. So the reason that we're doing this, um, and I mean you can see there's. The method that he's doing to pull these seats out leaves no damage around there, which is a, I mean, a genius way of doing it. Um, but the reason that we're pulling these out is because the exhaust seats can over time work their way out. And then as that valve keeps hitting it, it's gonna end up you know, pushing that valve sideways. It's, it just creates a bunch of damage. Um, it's actually a fairly common issue um, to the point where when we tear these things down, um, looking like this, but with the seats in, we put them in the hot tank to clean them. These seats actually often pop out in the hot tank on their own. Um, so yeah, so what we're doing to fix that um, in this machine back here is they will machine a much larger opening for a much larger seat so that it's got just that much more surface area um, and takes a lot more pressure actually to put it in too. So that as this head expands and contracts, it's not pushing these things out like it can from the factory. Um, but uh, yeah, just another thing we do to make sure that everything that leaves this factory is better than stock and that you don't have any problems with it in the future. So thanks for uh, showing us what you do. Pretty cool yeah, technique. No problem. Oh, thanks for watching, guys.